today we're going to do a chemical detection demo using a mobile GC mass spectrometer and a the Xorber handheld sampler. And this is a three pound lightweight sampler. It's battery operated. It can sample up to eight hours. It has two sorbent tubes on the bottom. You can sample on one tube, the other tube, or both tubes simultaneously, which you would want to do that in cases where you would want to keep one for a chain of evidence and then the other one would be used for the actual analysis. So that becomes very valuable to some people. The Xorber can also take GPS coordinates and time, and you can sample based on volume, time, or manual. So today we're just gonna do a, a volume-based sample. So I'm gonna press power and it's gonna start up and it's gonna tune itself automatically and it's gonna be ready here in a few seconds. We're gonna take it over here and we're gonna collect 60 milliliters of this clear unknown sample. So I've pressed start and it's sampling. It, here are the milliliters, here's the time. And we now have 60 milliliters. So I've pressed stop. And so now we're gonna take the Xorber over to the mobile GCMS and we're gonna analyze the sample. So to do that, you just open the handle for balance. You open up the sampling port on the Griffin 450 and you insert. You can see there's a triangle here, so you just line up the shape with the display facing you. And if you zoom in here, you can see it says charging docked. So on this port, while you're working with the instrument, it does um, recharge the battery. And so once you've docked your Xorber, then you can come and select your method using the Griffin system software. Today we're going to be using level one software, which is a simplified user interface. So I'm going to come over here and I'm not quite sure what method to use, so I'm going to use the method selector. If you did know what method you wanted to use and you remembered from your training, you could just select from the list. But today I'm going to use a selector because I'm not really sure which one to use. What it's going to do is ask me a series of questions. It's asking me if I'd like to analyze the sample or perform conditioning and we do want to analyze the sample. Here it's asking me what type of sample, and today I use the Xorber, so I'm going to select air. Next it's asking me what was my sampling device, and we use the Xorber. And I'm going to select tube A because that's the tube that we collected the sample on. Now the system is automatically going to run through a method where it's going to heat and transfer the sample from the Xorber onto the mass spectrometer. It's gonna go through um, the GC separation step, and then it will also go through uh, the mass spec analysis. Okay, so the method has been in progress, and you can see by the red light that the detection status has found the chemical toluene, and it's showing us an alarm, and um, from there, based on how you've trained your operators, they should know the appropriate protocol um, for what to do.